Good evening and welcome to um, another edition of Dead End. You can't see my face because I'm stuck under the StreamYard title, but hey-ho, there you go. I'll sort myself out in a minute so you can see me. Um, so yeah, so this evening, what we're going to be talking about um, is the latest newspaper advert regarding the three teams, uh, Paranormal Uncovered, Ghosts of Britain, and John Six Sense um, with their anti-bullying petition um, because of all the threats um, and bullying behaviour they've received within the paranormal field. So that's what we're all going to be talking about this evening. Um, hello to everybody that's jumped in the chat this evening. It's lovely to see you all. I would absolutely love to put all your names up tonight, but uh, there's 109 already. I'd be here all night trying to get you all in, but Massive hello to you all. Thank you all so much for coming along this evening, as always. So before we get into uh, what we initially wanted to talk about this evening, I do want to address last night's uh, two and a half hour live um, done by Ghosts of Britain, Paranormal Uncovered and John Sixpence. Um, I listened probably to about 40 minutes of it. Um, personally, for me, I feel that I would like to make a statement about uh, what was aired about myself last night, along with dead ends. So I'm going to be making a statement right now um, about how I feel about last night's show. It is my own personal view and opinion. So um, if it upsets anybody, then I do apologise. But as always, I'm entitled to have my own view and opinion so last night's trio show was, in my opinion, on the most part, a typical response to deflect any criticism of their own public domain actions. Quite how I have incited violence or threats towards any of the trio is utterly laughable and quite frankly, rubbish. Yes, I agree with their comment. I, as a paranormal investigator and Dead Ends host, am looking at the standards of this industry to ensure that the brand and reputation of all teams, small, large, and all our lovely newbies that are coming in, remains intact. If that means that I support a number of the public with their venues being vandalised, they're being targeted or being advised uh, venues booked when it isn't, or someone goes bankrupt and nobody knows about it, then, then I will. Then I absolutely will help anybody that I feel needs help in this paranormal field. So please do sue me for caring. I enjoy the topics on dead ends and do so and so and as do so many. Um, and it's helpful because it makes a massive difference. And I think you will all agree um, dead ends since it started has made a massive difference. Having an opinion is very different from being perceived as attacking. Some of the greatest minds in history were so socially ostracised for it, and I don't force my opinion on anyone. But I am happy that my opinions don't hurt anyone other than maybe those who choose to follow suit with chucking their toys out of their prams with it. Um, this behaviour last night was unnecessary um, to get a point across, and what it could have done essentially is, of course, um, allow others to retaliate out of support. Whilst I admire any individual who supports anti-bullying, I'm afraid that myself cannot find any common ground between anti-bullying and the trio. As they feel they are victims of bullying, cyberbullying and apparent death threats, so have they been guilty on many occasions of cyberbullying others, which unfortunately we see all too often amongst large groups of people in all walks of life whether online, in a playground or at work. I'd also like to address the comments that I had concerns over Woolerton Hall. Yes, I did have concerns about the safety of that venue at Miss COVID. And I did have a private conversation with Mr Steer about this. Um, in all, there was three separate comments made, one from him and two from me, I believe. And that was that. If the cap fits, wear it. As for the newspaper article, well, I'm sorry, but I had to write to them with my concerns for the paper's own brand and integrity, as the whole thing for me was crazy. 
I wouldn't want anyone to think that these groups are the perfect saints that should hold our entire field accountable. The facts are they have all given their fair share of insults and derogatory comments over the years. And I'm certain there are many unfortunate souls out there who are also victims as they feel they are. And finally, to anyone out there that thinks it's acceptable to send death threats or act in violence towards anybody, shame <coughs> on you. But that saying goes out to every single one of us. And that's my statement from tonight's show. So I am now going to hand over to CJ um, to see if CJ would like to make any comments about last night's show. Thanks, Gary. I just want to address an issue. I know that there was comments made about me and towards me. And unfortunately today, I have been given some advice legally that this should not be discussed because it might have some effect on some future legal proceedings that may or may not take place. So I'm not going to touch on what was said about me, but trust me, it is that that is going to come. All right, at some point, but right at this moment, I can't. But what I can do, I can talk about dead ends. And I can talk about this lot calling us trolls because we're not trolls and we're certainly not bullies. The only reason that let's take it each stage at its time, Ghost of Britain came on our radar was because we were asked to address an issue which we tried to do. And we will be doing and following up this Sunday on a flashcast. And that address an issue that Lee himself made last night about a cottage. You wait until Sunday, flashcast, you will find out what we were referring to. Also, the fact that they have tried to actually tell us that we are trolls and what we are doing is, is bullying is it, I, I can't comprehend it, Kelly. I really can't. I mean, I really think they need to grow up. They have been the people who have done the attacking. They were in a local newspaper stating that they had been bullied, that they had been trolled, that they have had death threats, which we've not, anybody has not seen any proof of these death threats. And I think we all would agree with that. There's been no uh, announcement or proof put up that they've had these death threats but they've done that in a local newspaper and then the next day at five o'clock they go live on their platform and they say that we are being trolls and we are being bullies does that make sense to anybody because it doesn't make sense to me they're doing exactly what they said has been done to them so it wasn't just all us as well, about us. There was a lot of other people involved, but I'm pretty sure that these individuals will deal with it in their own way. Yeah. But what we cannot do and what we cannot allow is them trying to make out that Dead Ends is a troll page. It's not. Do we, do we worry you that much? Is it that because we stand up to what things are wrong in the paranormal yeah. that you actually are that worried lee i'm disappointed in you big time mate because at one time that's what you were doing as paranormal police remember the good old days so you know you think about it when you come on here and on your little platform and actually say you know we are being bullied we are being given addresses out on this platform we didn't give your address out mate no not not yours not not harris's we not had Coles. somebody we didn't, not we Coles. Didn't give, we didn't no we didn't give anybody an address no we state that and what i say is wash your ears out open your eyes and go and have a look at the podcast one more time okay and i don't care i've got to be honest i'll be honest with you guys and i apologize to everybody because i am absolutely evil at this moment in time but what i'm trying to do is to be fair even on the last podcast we had i was quite fair to ghost yeah. of britain i stated don't 
been having a go at these guys they may not have realized gave you an opportunity come on the show but even then you went on a live and you used it as an excuse we're not going on because they gave out addresses we gave out no addresses none whatsoever there was confusion in our chat room it was one individual in there that was bringing it up all the time but if you listen to the podcast you will hear me state we do not want personal address why would we want it no we, why don't. would we want it I, I i've got to say i'm gonna to have to back off a little bit here because yeah. my temper is going up over it and so, i don't want to come across as being no. aggressive to them but at the end of the day they have called us out and yeah. it's about time that they get called out themselves to be honest i i think what i'd like to address um from a dead ends point of view around the um address scenario um is that when the address was sent to us um because of a misunderstanding um and we held our hands up uh, afterwards we said yes an address was sent to us but it was a massive misunderstanding at the time myself and colin try not to read the comments in the chat room because we are busy trying to have a discussion and open debate with everybody in our chat room so we leave the mods to do what they need to do unfortunately as you can see tonight 262 people um already on that's 262 people commenting every two seconds i would say two to three seconds it's, it's a lot to keep up with but what i will say about the address is the address that was sent to us by an unknown facebook user um, is public information the address that we were sent was public information it had come from company's house exactly. um, and i spoke with cole afterwards about it um and he i've got proof but i don't feel the need to put it up but i do have proof so if cole would like that i'm more than happy to screenshot that conversation although he's already got it himself so he can show everybody um that he said it's not even his dress so yeah. i i don't understand from last night quite how we were being um victimized for giving yeah. out their addresses wasn't their addresses the, the address we were given was apparently Coles, but we didn't know that it was due to a misunderstanding i then went after the show and spoke to cole about it i think it may have been the day after i can't recall whether it was that day or the day after in which he said that's not even my address can i just put my hand up i was the yeah. mod that said reply to the comment message us the reason i did that was because the guy who was um commenting was so emphatic he wanted to get the information across to him i was worried he was going to put it in the chat which i did not want to do because that would have been out for everybody which is not what we wanted to do anyway what no. whose ever address it was if they want to point fingers it was me that put the comment to say PM us on the page. That was me. I put my hands up. The reason I did it was because I know emotions run high, especially in chats, and people think that they're not getting their comment across because they do move so quickly. So I wanted to make sure that whatever this guy had information on, whoever's address it is, whatever address it was, I wanted him to do it in DM and not on a public comment forum. Mm -hmm. The other thing I will say is he sent us two addresses, neither of the which we were aware he didn't say whose addresses they were. So no. it wasn't until we looked on company's house to see whose address it was after Cole had said, you put our address out. So I'd just like to clear that up. That's why I did what I did. And if they want to come and take me on, they're more than welcome. Yeah, well, they they should be, as you said, you know, that you come in there to do that. What and you didn't need done, to. We, we didn't, you didn't need to do to. that. No, yeah, I know, no, but I, I'm, I'm quite, I'm not going to hide behind the group. I'm not going to hide behind uh, anonymous comments as a mod. I'm quite happy to put my face out there and say, I was the mod that asked them to PM me, us the address. And mm. the reason I did, because I didn't want it put in the comment section. Simple as that. Which, 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 which is fair enough. And that's been a good mod, in my opinion, to be quite honest. But, 
you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't just that. They were putting up comments as well, uh, screenshots mm. with their little spies. Hello to all you little spies coming in and, and screenshotting. I really wish I could do something to say screenshot this and send it back, but I, I, I'm not going to. I'm going so, to be yeah. rather polite. Yeah, so I, I think what I'd like to say uh, to everybody in the comment box who maybe is, uh, it's their first time here, um, so if it is, welcome. For whatever reason you are here, welcome. Um, the whole point of Dead Ends, guys, is we bring you factual information, okay? And what, what, what I mean by that is we're here to talk about all the things in the paranormal field that boil people's piss, okay that's why we're here that's why the show is here and for as long as there are things that boil people's piss dead ends will always be here all right you can try and get us shut down it's not a problem we'll have a dead ends one dead ends two we could keep going i could keep going into the thousands so i'm not really bothered but what i would like to say is we only deal with factual information so anything that we are talking about is our own personal view and opinion based on factual information from lives that have pissed us off, from yeah. behavior that has pissed us off. It could be anything. It could be bumping the night, going bankrupt. We need to get that out there, but we need to. it needs to be factual. So therefore me and CJ and our mods all do our research. We all check that everything is kosher and factual because the last thing we would ever want to air and become is a tit for tat show. There is exactly. enough of them out there. We don't need another tit for tat show. What we need is a show where people can voice their own opinions and their own concerns based on whatever topic we have decided we're going to be talking about in, this, in, in that moment. And be rest assured that everything we have is 100% factual. We don't need to put up screenshots of people saying this or that because it's tit for tat. It is just tit for tat stuff. What I want to see is factual. So for example, with the fire extinguisher scenario, I had to get still screenshots of them put, playing with the fire extinguisher, setting the fire extinguisher off, because it's factual information. I'm not going to run a show because I think I saw them playing with a fire extinguisher, or I think I saw them light some matches, or I think I saw them smoking a fag, or I think I saw them bouncing a ball. It has to be factual. So everything that is done on dead ends is 100% factual. The only thing that we may all disagree on is our own views and opinions but that's okay you guys are entitled to have your own views and opinion come on and have your own views and opinions that's what we're here for it doesn't matter whether we agree with you or not we're not going to put you down because you don't agree with us a and show Kelly, is not yeah and kelly to be quite honest we don't need to go on anybody else's pages and do anything like that neither we keep it here you know, and what we do say, and even if we comment privately or in a page or anything, that's down to us. We, we're, we're entitled to have an opinion. We're entitled to have a view, just like everybody is entitled to have a view and opinion on here. You're absolutely right. spot on. That's absolutely right. Look, yes, there are about, I think, a handful of people that are blocked and banned from our page. And they're not blocked and banned from our page because we feel that they don't deserve to have an, op an opinion or a view. They're blocked for a bloody good reason. And that reason will be because they've been abusive towards either our mods or us as hosts. Yeah. Okay. So they are blocked absolutely 100%. Are they blocked on my personal page? No, because I know how to separate my personal stuff from my yeah. dead end stuff. I do not bring my work home with me. OK, so last night you won't have seen me comment. A, I can't comment on that that show anyway, because I'm blocked and banned. So please don't go there with we're blocking and banning people so they don't have a voice. Please don't go there because there are many people I suspect last mm. night that would have loved to have had a view and an opinion on last night's two and a half hour show. But unfortunately, they're blocked from being able to comment. The only yeah, thing they exactly. can do is listen. So please don't be bringing that to our door, please. And also defending themselves, because they have a right to defend themselves too. Absolutely. Paranormal Uncovered are more than welcome to come on here as Paranormal Uncovered. 
I've got no problem with that. But yes, Cole and Andrew are blocked from this page. But you don't see us putting up the messages or the no. screenshots. That's, no. that's not us. That is not us. So there's no. the difference between the two. To be Absolutely. Quite so anyway, with that all said, um, Shell, do you want to add anything, Liz? Do you want to add anything before we go into the actual um, topic? We've got, we've got a guest that's waiting to Ooh. come on. Richard. I know. Um, I sent okay. him a link, but I don't, don't know if I sent him the right one. So you Yeah, might you have. That. I can see him. All right. Okay. So look. Let's bring Richard on so he can have a say, because I imagine he wants to have a say um, about last night's show. I've got no problem with that. But, guys, if you are going to come on, the link is in the, the comments, all right? Absolutely. You're more than welcome to all come on. But can you please keep it factual? Keep your emotion levels down. When you're emotional, you end up saying things that you wouldn't generally tend to say. Let's keep the emotion levels down. All right, let's keep everything factual and everything pleasant. All right. Okay, so let's let's bring Richard on. Hi, Richard. How are you? Yeah, hi guys. I hope you can hear me okay. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah um, I, I I agree completely about keeping the emotion emotional levels down. I mean, I'm a little bit like Colin. I'm I'm really trying to keep mine down at the moment. Um, wow. purely because I mean I don't know. I never saw this, so I'm gonna be factual, but I've been <laughs> told in a conversation by somebody that apparently when I all I objected to was when they did the Myra Hinley investigation and I was outspoken about that and it was purely that reason that I was a bit more outspoken and apparently going back to that time there was comments made let's mentally destroy him um I mean I, I've not seen this so you know I'm, I'm trying to be um as factual as I can uh, mentally destroy the person and um, uh, that's um, I, I do recall one of the, the people on this said I've got his address if you want it now what I really was against is there was no comment from Lee or Lindsay to say we don't want his address please don't give us the address please don't even say those things about him you know there was no control and and I find it hypo hypocritical now that they actually went on you know they went in the paper and said you know about anti bullying when when what they were doing to me was exactly the same thing um i suffer from ocd and i'm i'm always open about the fact i have obsessive compulsive disorder and i could have gotten the argument well you know that's discriminatory about me when they're saying about let's mentally destroy the person so i feel that <laughs> it's hypocrisy and uh, this is my my biggest uh, gripe on the subject mm. look i think um there were many people that were probably um, very outspoken about that particular um, event that happened. Um, I, I know that that's been and gone now. So, um, you know, it, it's always going to be there, but it's been and gone. I, I think, Richard, you're a very brave individual um, yeah, for coming on. Um, I think you've um, come on and conducted yourself very well this evening. And, and I am very proud of you. Um, is there anything um, that you would like to see change in the paranormal around think, bullying? Yeah, I mean, I, bullying is wrong no matter who does it. And I think you guys are very good in the sense that you don't take sides. And, um, you know, it, the show is a great show because it is about people being able to say what boils their piss, you know. Um, and I don't see you screenshotting and things like that. And I think with bullying and bullying, Bullying is wrong on both sides. I mean, if those guys have been bullied, then that's wrong. You know, mm. who, whoever's done that to them, that's yeah. completely wrong. So I think most of us agree that's wrong and should stop. And, and two um, wrongs don't make a right, does no. it? Precisely, precisely, Colin. And I think we, we, you know, we've been mature about this and trying to get this over. And um, you know, I, I don't think you know you can really argue. And I think what needs to happen is there needs to be respect for everyone around, and and, that, and that's really all I can say on that. Yeah. Well, thanks ever so much for coming Thank on, you. Richard. Thank you so much, and we'll speak to you soon. All right, my darling. Lovely. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Thank you, take Richard. care. Bye. -bye. bye. Kelly and CJ, if it's okay with you, I'm going to drop off camera and I'll sit in the yeah. chat. Um, I, I've said my piece. I've said what I wanted to say, so I shall leave you guys to it. All right, okay, then, darling. thank you, Liz. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, and so we've got Jane. So Jane would like to come on. 
Jane, I'm going to bring you on. Three, two, one. Hello, my Hi. darling. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm not too bad. Obviously, uh, a little bit sort of surprised at the uh, live last night, as right. I was also dragged into it being uh, being named as a a bully and uh, a troll, oh which uh, which is all came from really just make me making one single comment on your page. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes, yes, I remember yes. from today. Looking at it and. And I, 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 find, I, do, I just find it sort of, you know, a bit um, double standards, really, when they're talking about bullying. Now, I have no problem with these people. I, I don't follow them. I don't engage with them. I'm not blocked from their lives. I don't um, comment on anything that they do. We're not connected in any way. And um, I was a bit sort of taken aback, really, when, when they actually mentioned me, um, because of that one comment and it was about a book and that book um i know the book was about them but i mm -hmm. openly bought that book on amazon to mm -hmm. 2019 mm -hmm. it was it's in the public domain it was um freely available from amazon and i did buy the book and my comment was purely made on the fact that as these three had sort of got together again mm -hmm that I thought that the author of that book might might write something else. So that's yes. why I said I can perhaps feel a book coming on from this author, Steele. Lear. Now, I've got the book. I've got the book here. Yep. It's about 20 pages long. It's not even particularly a brilliant book, but I buy books from Amazon. I read lots yes. of books. Everybody that yeah. knows me knows that I read lots of books. But I think their attack on me was totally unfounded and so, when i look this morning there's probably about seven thousand people that's viewed that and what's really boiled my piss about this <laughs> is the fact that there's sort of seven thousand people out there now that have got completely wrong impression about me but i can yeah. do nothing about that no. so so what you're saying is then that when you made that comment you've had no connection to these guys whatsoever and yet no. they use your comment like yesterday yes that to, to you have up. attack on yes. me because it was on your page right and that's not intimidation i i, I just i it it just sort of <laughs> it that's that's bullying that is i mean even yeah, in their yeah, own definition yeah, yeah. bullying yeah, yeah. is persistent and it's ongoing and it's you know but that was one comment and i don't even i don't even engage with these people so Completely. what cracks me up what cracks me up is the fact that that was taken from yesterday. They must have right at the last minute before they were going live. Yeah, I mean, they must have got that my minutes mind before. It just explodes on this. Well, I, look, I, I, really I know, I know Jane, just uh, probably like a lot of people in the chat room. I, I know mm -hmm. Jane and, and um, gosh, beautiful woman you are, Jane. Love wow. you loads. I've got oh, utmost wow. respect for you <laughs> in the paranormal. I really, really have. Um, if there's one media out there that I've got time for it's a hundred percent you. You are just amazing. Um, so if you guys don't know Jane, um, uh, Jane is an amazing lady and does a lot of work at the Haunted Antiques Paranormal Research Centre. Um, pop along, listen to her meditation, starting again hopefully in April. Absolutely amazing shows that she does. Such a beautiful voice. Like, not that she sends me to sleep because she's boring, but she's got <laughs> that voice in meditation that just, yeah. oh, it's just perfect. Listen, Jane, thanks for coming on. I'm so sorry that you yeah. got dragged into all of yeah. this because of you commented on dead ends. Um, yeah. But there's just one quick thing I'd like to add. This, this, this is all going completely the wrong way. If you get called out for being a bully and um, a troll, for just mentioning a book i never wrote yeah. the book i've nothing to do with the book but if you can get slated like this for just mentioning a book yeah. where is this path leading us yeah and exactly that's, that, yeah that's no. a, a question i'll leave with you but thank you very much for having me on thank uh, you no, for letting thank me you. put my point across and hopefully no. you know we can you know we can move on from it i yeah, hope no, so I, I hope you receive an apology to be honest even yeah, if I it do. is a private one but what i will say is this Please accept our apologies. 
yes. with dead ends on here, you know, to come on here and comment and then have that taken out and to be singled out like you were. We I'm will apologise to you we, because yeah. that, that was wrong. That was wrong. Yeah, well, you don't need to apologise. You didn't, you, didn't do, you didn't do anything wrong. You, I, I just made a simple comment on your page mm. and it shouldn't be taken in the wrong context and, and used no, against exactly. you. Exactly. All right. Thank you well, both. Love Thank to you, you darling. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Gosh, see how many people this has upset. Uh, so can I people. just? I'm just. Can pleased. I just say something? Yeah. Please don't be frightened to come on the show. Um. You know, don't be frightened. Come on. No. You don't have to yeah. Yeah, yeah. come on in your face. You can be like no. me, appearing offline. Yeah. yeah, and you, you might not. You, you might, or... yeah, you might have a difference of opinion and think, yeah. "You, what yeah. you did, dead ends was wrong," or Kelly, what you did as a person was wrong. Come on, let's talk about it. Honest, it's so biggie. There's, there's a comment saying, "There's a comment saying, can I ask who would like to go on to have your say, but worried about backlash? Don't worry about backlash. No, just come no. on. There would be no, our dead enders. Absolutely, if they're one of we us, are fantastic." They know exactly what this show is about, okay? They're entitled to their view and opinion, but they will never be nasty with it, all right? So anybody that wants to come on, you guys, you guys are all welcome. You know, if I could have you all on, little tiny dots in, in our screens, we would have you all on, trust me. Exactly. Great. exactly. Especially to have you say, <laughs> you know, because yeah. uh, at the end of the day, as we said, nobody, nobody that uh, had uh, remarks made about them were able to actually get in and have or defend themselves. So your opportunity is here. Don't worry, me and Ke me and Kelly are standing in front of you. Don't you worry about that. Oh, of course. Because I tell you, we're time. not afraid of any of them. No. And I do this quite seriously. Don't think I'm frightened because no. I am. I'm not bothered about what happens. I couldn't. Oh God, I was at work anyway, five to ten. I was no. having the time of my life. I, I, I'm um, honest <laughs> with you, Kelly. I watched. I watched the first five, ten, maybe fifteen minutes of it. But then I, I, I just turned her off because I was like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I think I watched about 40 minutes, like I said earlier. Um, and I, I I got home last night, didn't I? After talking to you, make sure that you were okay. Um, and quickly chatted with the mods. Um, I then sat down. Um, I finished work at 10, got home about half past, sat down and, and watched maybe 40 minutes of it. But I had to go to bed. I, I had to work in the morning. Yeah. God, I tell you. Right, okay, so uh, we've got um, someone else who'd like to come on and have their say, um, and uh, they're called Vaughn. So let's have a look. Let's invite Vaughn on. So Vaughn, three, two, one. Hello, my darling. How are you? Hello, Vaughn. Hello. Public can't Hi, see Can you hear me, CJ? Yes, we can hear you. Although you've got a tally on in the background and we can also hear oh, that. Can just turn it down a sec. <laughs> Only for a second. <laughs> Hello. Hi, you darling. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, CJ. Hi, Kelly. Hi, yeah. Hi, Vaughn. I'd, I'm not actually involved with any of them. No, it's no, it's it's dragging, slacking behind. It's off now. That's better. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you both. Yeah. What what it is? What I got with it all is that oh, it's repeating me now. It's dragging in the microphone. Are you using a computer or a mobile phone, Vaughn? A computer. You might need to use headphones. That will I've cancel out the... You've got the oh. name of you. Ah, right. Well, we can hear you perfectly, Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's... Right, I, I'm not in... Oh. Do you want us to let you sort your microphone out and then come back to you in a second? I'm on a com. Hello. Oh, she's 
she's gone. She's gone. Uh, okay, I'm sure she'll come back. Uh, not, there's a grammar in there. <laughs> Obviously, there's a grammar. <laughs> okay, so we've got Fiona. Hi, Fiona. So we're going to bring you in. Three, two, one. Hi, Fiona. Oh. How are you? Hello. Thank you. That's all Hello, right. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you can see you as well. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, I just want to say that... Um, you know, um, I'm really, I'm really disappointed in the whole paranormal field that, with all this going on at the moment, and I think it's a real great shame because there's a lot of teams out there that do work together, mm. yeah. and um, and uh, you know, and we should, and we should encourage that and not discourage it. And um, and yesterday, I did watch the two hours and a bit, and um, because there was massive headlines. Mm -hmm. And um, and I didn't see an awful lot backing the massive headlines up. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I would say I was disappointed in that, but I was actually quite relieved because it meant that it probably didn't happen. Um, I was also, I had a, a post of mine or, or, or part of a conversation I had with my friend Tracy, mm -hmm. and Tracy's on here listening and um, watching, um, and that was put onto um, onto their live. You um, as well. I, yeah, and and all I said was, I think it's a real shame this is all going on, and and I hope we all, all can pull together. And there wasn't anything horrible at all, and yet um, they decided to plaster my name and profile picture and stuff like that. Um, and I don't really think they had a right to at all. No. Um, and and I was I was really disappointed in that because um, you know having listening to to them I thought Lee was actually the most professional and he was trying to nurture the others to do so um, but they're all adults and I would have thought you know you know it, it was a bit of a playground there was a, a lot of nonsense going on in the chat and um, even when I said to them um, you know. I've been on for just over two hours. I've got to go now. Could you tell me what it is you need from this? You know, mm. I want to find out. It's all, it's fine to go on these broadcasts and say this is happening and that's happening and everything else. But unless you're actually going to be part of the solution, don't be part mm. of the problem. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and I don't see it's actually going to create a solution by what was going on because it's incited so many people because it was all very much little snippets and like as I say my post was a little snippet mm. and I was having a conversation with Tracy because I've worked with Tracy who's, who, who's very very good and her team's brilliant mm. um and um and and it kind of drifted off into what we were going to you know we've got a couple of events coming so that's great but but it was you know it was um part of the thread but it was only taken in a tiny part so the rest of the conversations weren't seen and so it could be edited in any which way, which is really That's wrong. That's the worry, yeah. Yeah, is, really, yeah. really wrong. It's very misleading. Can, can I ask you, was this your post put up yesterday, was it? Um, or was yeah. it put up before? Uh, it, uh, it, my post, I, I put it onto Blight's page a couple of days ago and I was just saying about, you know, right, I think right. it's a shame to come to this. And then they... they they clearly had somebody in there or they did it. I don't know. Mm. But um, there was absolutely nothing. And I've never, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah. I, I, I've seen a couple of their lives. I get a little, I turn off when I see them start arguing with people outside buildings and things because yeah. and they, they, they call one female to another calls terrible names to each other and it's quite alarming. So I switch it off. I don't want to get yeah. involved in that. Um, yeah. So, you know, I, I like watching these guys because if they are the professionals, I watch them for their methods, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, how they approach things. I love to learn. Mm. Um, and, you know, that's that's the only reason I've come in, in contact with these, um, mm. these actual live streams and things like that. Um, mm. And I do hope that they all go back to just doing what mm. they love to do, which is investigate, keep adding the proof and the evidence that there is something there. Um, I totally agree with you. Totally agree yeah. with you. They should stick to going down and doing their ghost hunting. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what it's about. That is yeah. what it's about. Not oh, creating the you. drama or the, yeah. uh, the misinformation that they are trying to 
Yeah. Okay, well, bro. thanks. Thanks ever so much for coming on, Fiona. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. No, not, not, <laughs> not as bad as what you thought. Come on no, again sometime. No. I would. Thank you so much. Thank right. You. See you later. Bye. See you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we've got V next, then Kaz, and then a gentleman who's waiting. So we're going to bring V in. Three, two, one. Hi, V. How are you? Hi, I'm re Hello. I'm fine. Um, I'm I'm um a, a very good friend of Kaz Rooney's, mm -hmm. and last night, um, I I've got mental health issues. I don't care who knows out there, mm -hmm. and my name and Dean's name and Kaz's names were thrown out there. Now we, the three of us, did an investigation on the 27th and the 28th of August, right? We went to Lincoln for the weekend. We were not in any lockdown whatsoever, but mm -hmm. yet they got it. I've had six people pester me today mm. i've got serious mental health issues and they're saying they're not causing bullying come on it, do you know what Steve, you just need to block them and delete them so they can't ruin your day anymore honest to god it's not even worth getting into conversation because there isn't going to be a winner in these situations unfortunately we were talking me and my husband were talking earlier um uh, about um, this type of mentality. And I, I'm afraid I likened um, follower mentality to owning a, a cat, so getting a new kitten. So you can buy a cat and you have to buy a litter tray, okay? And that litter tray is where they go to have a piss and a shit, right? Yeah. Followers are no different. They keep going back to the same place to have a piss and a shit. It's the same as, it's the same as a cat. And I'm no different. I love watching... Um, ghost adventurers so i go my, my go-to to have a piss and a shit is ghost adventurers i love it so that's my go-to followers and supporters we're no different we have our go-to places and unfortunately uh, you, you won't ever change their mind until they see it for themselves uh, so the best bet here mate is block block and ban them so you don't have to put up with it anymore and no, not only that not only that hate breeds hate yeah it, it it does and that's the hardest thing is i've been in this industry for quite some time um and i'm a medium and i travel to churches and everything but since all this lockdown i've i've you know it, it, it's heartbreaking for the industry mm -hmm. you know because there's so many people with love and passion in it and i completely understand why you do what you do because we need people like yourselves to say do you know what i'm not sure you're doing this quite right but hey what a you know it, it kind of keeps us on our toes yeah and i think the, the i think the great thing about dead ends is that we've all come together so we might not always agree on the same things mm -hmm. Um, but it's a place where we know we can all come together and have a say and not worry because actually we're inviting you to have a difference of opinion. That's what we yeah. want you to all have, your own opinion. You, my love, are just like me and CJ and everyone else in the chat room. You're a in special individual. So therefore, your brain works for you and you think how you think. I think how I think. We might not yeah. always agree, but that's what Dead Ends is all about. It's a safe place to come and have um a difference of opinion and maybe you might agree with some of the opinions the hardest part is trying to have a voice and an opinion when you're all by yourself so i love the new page paranormal blights in the fact that um it is just like dead ends yeah. um yeah. but it's more of a, a chitty chatty um page rather than a podcast i love it I, I i've only just recently been introduced to it um and it's you know it's got some stuff in it that um we've dealt with ourselves so uh good luck with that to everybody on but, the paranormal plight page but you don't have to comment all the time you know you no. only comment if it's something you know that you feel passionate about and that is what the paranormal is about yeah you know, um you know it's, it's like for me i'm a medium but not everybody believes in mediums so no, exactly. you know doesn't mean you should slight them it means you, you work together to get the best out of it absolutely so if um if you could um just summarize how did yesterday make you feel intimidated 
and more vulnerable than what I already did. I felt like I, um, within minutes I had to put posts on my pages to say I didn't break any COVID restrictions. We went on this date um, to, uh, yeah. you know. So you felt you had to justify people. yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, love. Don't don't be um, don't be panicking about it. Anybody who knows you and loves you, uh, they're the only people that matter in all of this. All right. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. My dad always said opinions are like arseholes and everybody's got one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, speak to you soon, my lovely, because I want to get the next guest on. Take care, Thank my you. love. Bye. OK, so Kaz next. So Kaz, three, two, one. Hey, my darling, how are you? Hello, yeah. I'm good. How are you? Oh, all right. Hi, Long time Kaz. no see. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so last night, what 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 did that mean to you then? How did you feel? Well, I didn't watch it. No, I only watched 40 minutes. <laughs> that's yeah. when I got home. I haven't seen a bit of it. I didn't need to watch any of it. Literally, yeah. my phone went into meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not surprised by it. I kind of saw mm. it coming, um, given a conversation that happened last Saturday. There was kind of hints there was something going on. Um, but the only problem I really have, they can say what they want about me, I don't care. I mm. really do not care at this point. Yeah. But not one person could defend themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I found that. It felt like going a, a broken record, just going over yeah. and over the same thing again. It was really boring. I don't know how I managed to last 40 minutes, to be honest. And mm -hmm. the other thing that I actually was bothering me was people would just send me bits and pieces and this has been said and blah, blah, blah. And mm. I was like, I'm not watching it. It was my son's birthday yesterday. Ah, oh, so happy birthday. I was concentrating on my son. So I wasn't... I wasn't really paying any attention, but I thought to myself, how can a whole field be wrong? There's mm. so many people saying the same things mm -hmm. to these teams, <clears throat> but we're all the trolls and we're all the bullies for saying it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, right. I, totally I, agree. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, and, no, I 100% I agree. And every single one of those people who were complaining, the group they were talking about Paranormal Blacks, they're all free to join that if they want. Yeah. But yeah. apparently there was a comment today that somebody won't join because we are all horrible. But you don't need to join to see um, the stuff in the group anyway. You can still see it, can't you, without even joining? They want to see anything. They can come in and see anything. Yeah. Nothing's hidden from them. But they're trying to make out it's like a great big conspiracy and it really isn't about that at all. No, no, no I've been in there. It really it really isn't at all. It's it's quite similar to Dead Ends. Like I said, it's just a tippy tappy post uh, yeah. group. So, it's, you know, it's my cup of tea. I'll, um, as long as I agree, I'll have a little comment. If I don't agree, I probably won't say anything. <laughs> I mean, you at the end of the day, you... Sorry? At the... At the end of the day, you've got to be you, and you've got yeah. a voice, you've got an opinion, and you've got a view, and you should be able to share that without any fear of intimidation or interpretation from anybody. It seems to me that what I've got from tonight, from our show, judging, speaking to people like you, Kaz, and the others that have come on before, is yeah. they've got to have a right to have a say. It's only us that are right. It's only these individuals that are right. I'm sorry, I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. and I, I, if I've got to call them out, I'll call them out. You know, at yeah. the end of the day, that that's my right to do that. But it does not yeah. make me, you, carry anybody, a troll or a bully no. for calling somebody out when they're wrong. No. Well, here's the thing. I mean, both of you personally actually know me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know what I'm like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you I'm haven't. You've always been the same. same. Yeah. And when something pisses me off, I do say it very yeah. loudly. Um, but I mean, that's not going to change because no. of the live feed. And they can no. actually say whatever they please at this point. I really don't care. Things were really twisted last night. No one got a yes. chance to defend themselves. And that's a real issue. That That's a big red flag to anyone who was watching it. 
They should yeah. have said, well, why can't these people defend themselves? I think for me, the, um, personally, because obviously I was personally um, put out on there quite a bit last night along with you, Kaz. I think for me, the red flag was <clears throat> showing parts of a private conversation, yeah. but the only parts that suited them. I, yeah. I would have loved them to have put the whole conversation up. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to because I don't feel the need to air any of it. Yeah. But yeah. please do feel free to put the entire conversation up because you'll find it doesn't go the way that you think it goes at but it all. Does, but Kelly, it won't go their way. Well, they're not going to put if the whole conversation up. No. Yeah, so exactly. it ain't going to matter. Yeah. So I'm flogging a dead horse. So really, I'm not all, they're not all that bothered. They're not going to put the whole conversation up because it doesn't fit what they need it to do. They the need to yeah. action and that's exactly what they wanted. Absolutely. No. And that's no. fine. But I mean, the biggest laugh, someone messaged me and said, um, they've actually turned around and called you the Pierce Morgan of the paranormal world. <gasps> that's what Colin calls himself. Oh, Colin, oh, Pierce Morgan. Yeah. That's naughty. That's my saying, that is. <laughs> well, there's two of us now, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, I, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. But there's, there's a guest waiting called Mike, and he's got to go to work. So. Okay. So could he be right. next? Right. We're going to leave, leave right. it there, my darling, but brilliant to have you Thank you, sweetie. Sorry. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thanks no, that's on, absolutely Dan. what you're there for, Shell. Thank you well, so much. Thank Mike, you, three, two, one. Hello, Mike. How are you? Hello, Mike. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes. Clear. Well, um, yeah, first of all, just want to start by saying I am a silent watcher just mm -hmm. because I don't really feel like ever writing anything in chat. I just enjoy following paranormal. Um, since lockdown, losing, not losing my job, but being furloughed from work, kind of, you know, entertainment, as a lot of people really enjoy watching. I'm one of those people that's really used paranormal as a as a way to get through and be entertained, you know, yeah. living on your own. Um, yeah. So I don't know anyone. I've never met you guys. I never speak to anyone. So if anyone starts saying, oh, you know, being biased, then whatever. Um, and I can't get my camera on, which is really frustrating because I don't that's want okay. to <laughs> That's right. All right. We can hear you. That's the main part. Okay, of um, so, yeah, so I just want to start by going back to the whole kind of bullying thing. I have been watching Gob and um, John and a few others sort of over the last year. And I've got to say, I've been one of those people that's kind of really wanted to stop watching those kind of what I would call more commercial ones because it is about, you know, money and whatever they say. It's pretty obvious. It's about because why would you say smashing buttons until your thumbs bleed? It's, it's you know, and then complain that you're getting trolls when you're actually asking people to share, share, share. Well, hmm. people are going to share into banter groups and things because that's what people do online. They're trolls, you know. Sorry. No, I hate the word troll. That's frustrating because a lot of people that are just having an opinion of being tarnished with this word troll which is completely disgusting because you hit the nail on the head yeah and i watched a bit of that thing yesterday and i think the the um definition of the word troll i think they selected bits from that there yes. i guess troll is somebody who just constantly constantly badgers and badgers but people to say they don't believe something or think oh well maybe the wind's blowing that door and then gets blocked they're not trolls they're just people that are genuinely interested like i am they want to express an opinion mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, that aside, the thing that's really frustrated me, as a gay bloke myself, I have mm -hmm. heard a lot of homophobic comments. And John the other night was talk last night was talking about standing up for um those other two guys that are gay. Colin saying, and Andrew. Yeah, saying how disgusting that people treat him. I s I can promise you, I I'm not gonna start saying I've got proof because I know yeah, none of, of them have gay proof. But the fact that they, John, has said on his live, and I've seen a number, and I mean more than a handful of occasions, he's commented to people that he thought were trolling when they were having an opinion and saying, why don't you go and, I'm, I'm going to be careful what I'm saying, because I know you're, yeah, 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 you're yeah, a very yeah. professional, I've got to say, no, you're it's a fine. professional ones I watch. No, thank you. Why don't you go and suck another man's, and it's like, really? I mean, yes. that, if you <laughs> come back and said that's not homophobic, why say a comment like that? Um, mm. And there used to be a guy that used to work with called John or Josh or something a while ago as well. Okay. And a few occasions he turned around and called like Josh things like, I remember him calling him a, a Sherlock homo, hence why I got banned because I said that oh. was homophobic. Yeah. And it is there on videos. Um, uh, lots of homophobic comments. There has been a lot. And I know he's had gay members of the team and stuff, but there's still homophobic comments regardless whether you have gay friends because you're using them mm -hmm. in a derogatory way. 
But the worst one I will never forget in my life, and this is why I don't watch him anymore. The reason I watched last night was because of God and that. Was of course, he different called that, Yeah, and he called that ex-teammate. And I, I mean, I really don't even want to say this because I don't want, I'm just quoting what he said here. Yeah. He called his ex-teammate a Down syndrome Harvey Price. And I always remember that comment. And I've if, heard this and that, yeah, I've heard about this. I, I haven't think, seen it though. Yeah, and I know there's going to probably be more because it's all about, I mean, these drama things they do, it gets them more likes. They're going to use each other's viewers and get the views up, get more money. That's what they do. But to call somebody a Down syndrome, Harvey Price, I mean, I, I would love, and I would actually, if, if you want evidence, I'll sit and troll and find where he said that. because no, I don't it. worry about it. <laughs> no, but I'm on about to send that to the Blumen petition group that's on Facebook, which has got millions of followers, about mm. they, they are bringing a law against discrimination. My point is, and I'm sorry, I, I won't stay on any longer because I'm waffling, but my point <laughs> is, how dare you set up a group with two other groups about bullying when all you have done yourself, and I'm not just putting John on this, I'm talking no. about the, the two other guys and the the guy and his girlfriend, wife, or whatever. They ask each of their followers to go and troll the other team. Last year, mm. I remember, sorry, last year, first lockdown, April it would have been, because I'd just finished work, telling people to go and unfollow the other group. Another group saying, don't go and watch them report their page. Another group saying this. Another group saying John has called someone out for being this. It's like, but then you come together. Mm. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like you now, Colin. I'm, I feel like I, not too... I, I, I'm I'm going to be quite honest with you, but I mean, I, I, I do appreciate what you're saying, and I would love to dive in, but unfortunately, I've had some advice today because of a comment that John they had made, made uh, that they made. Uh, against me which is being looked into only yeah. purely it's either that or i go absolutely mental over it and i yeah. don't want to come across that so i understand where you're coming from and i appreciate you yeah. being honest you know what, being colin? About it. colin and um k, k sorry k, kelly kelly sorry. i'm so sorry <laughs> i do apologize That's all right one thing I love about you two, um, there's a lot of drama pages that do what you do, but they make drama. You guys are being professional. And the fact you just yeah. said that, Colin, about the, you, you have to be impartial because you're hosts. Yeah. Yeah. What you're doing is you're letting people air their opinion, which goes completely in the favour of other people. Because like last night, when it's like type yes into the group if you agree we're being trolled. Well, all the people that were going to type no, they're not trolls. They're just people with an opinion that have been blocked. So of course, yeah. massage your ego, make yourselves feel better surround yourself in yes people because i mean i hope they're watching this because i'm not a nasty bloke i see things from more point of view but all they're doing is surrounding themselves in followers people that pay money mm. yeah. and just massage them. and i'm sorry one more thing just what i know I've, i'm full of, I'm, I'm really raging it's boiling my piss as you call it <laughs> but the thing that really frustrates me is when um they go on about um oh, sorry I'm, I'm, lo I'm losing it a little bit here don't um, worry. But it's, it, it, it does anger me because you just... I think, again, it's, it is emotional for you because it touches yeah. nerves for you, my darling. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and do you know what? I think digital um, harassment, bullying, whatever, there is real bullying out there. There's real mm. harassment. What people are doing hey, guys. on these, these groups that is just having a passion towards something and just wanting to be involved and interact. That's what it's about. But yeah, don't allow that. Sorry, well, look, go ahead, Jack. Jack. Yeah, go ahead, Shell. Uh, John Harris, this statement has never been stated from my mouth. Maybe a former teammate, but not me. So get facts correct. Right, we're um, not even going to divulge. That. Not yeah. even interested. No. Not, I'm not interested okay. in what John's got to say. Oh, he had cool. everything. Can I, can yeah. I take the disclaimer he out? Could, he had two and a half hours last night. This is our time yeah. now. Yeah. And can yeah. I just put a disclaimer out? Cool. This yeah, is absolutely. This is word from Mike. Is this cool. is from Dead Ends. This is what I've heard. And I have absolute fact that he said that because I made a comment and I got deleted and I wrote it down that I'd been deleted in case something ever came up like this. So, John, why don't you disprove something for the first time ever? Because all you ever do is talk about death threats and people saying this, people saying that. And all you show is just silly little um, photoshops of statements where people are just having a comment where's the freaking death threat sorry i said freaking i didn't swear because no, I it doesn't oh. matter if you did it's there not are, watershed photo shots <laughs> where, where where's the evidence of these death threats and everything and sorry one last thing i've had mental okay. illness as a lot of people have 
you yeah. do not go out and ghost hunt within 24 hours if apparently you are going to go into hospital for two weeks you don't even have that choice so i'm from from somebody who knows for a fact because i have he is talking rubbish and i don't i don't know what anyone else's opinion is on that but you you get sectioned if if it's that bad you oh, don't yes. have a choice. oh gosh well look take our love with you thank you ever yeah, so much thank you for um, coming on I don't know how you've stayed in the paranormal field for as long as you have, um, but kudos to you, my darling. You are more than welcome yeah. to come on any time, and I really hope you enjoy every other show that, that comes on. And if not, don't forget to let us know. Thank you. And, and, thanks, for, and thanks for being honest. Oh, yeah. no, and I appreciate your time, and I do apologise, I waffled, but that is like a year's worth of... I'm like a volcano. I've just wrapped it up. Oh. <laughs> Next time you're doing a show on anything about fake um, evidence on fakery, get me on because I've got some evidence on something that I think you guys will find very, very interesting. And it's factual. And you guys are factual. Keep up the good work. Love you Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Anyway, Carrie, can I just point out as well that we yeah. have been on for an hour. So, okay, so uh, I've got how two, long you want to take it. So I've got two more people. I, I don't want to disappoint them. So no. we've got two more people um, to do. So Steve and Dalia, you're coming on in just a second. And then Jen's there. That's it, though, guys. We're having Stephen on, then Jen, and then me and Colin are going to wrap it up for tonight. Okay, just remember, um, like it says at the bottom of the screen, okay, our opinions are our own, okay? So we're not responsible for anybody else's opinions, all right? No. So be respectful and factual and don't rise to anything, all right? Okay, so three, two, one. Hi, Stephen, how are you? How you doing, all right? I was all right. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm I, I do. I'm friends with Wee and Lindsay, but I have okay. got an opinion. It's, it's, a, it's like an unbiased opinion about the whole thing. Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah, that's not that's not fine, a problem. Mate. That's not a problem. Just going to be honest. Me and me and we are friends. We do we do converse about ghost paranormal yeah. and ghost hunting. Yeah. One of the things I spoke to him about last night after the, the live was there is, seems to be a lot of people in the shadows that stir quite a lot of trouble. Yeah. And I, the, I would totally and utterly agree with that. Totally in the pot. Yeah, that. 100%. Yeah. Now, I was under the impression, I've been a paranormal investigator on and off for eight years. Uh, I've been a part of a few teams. I'm now currently working on my own thing. Um, mm. what, wait, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a small fry, as people call it. I only have 140 followers, but to me, I believe that from the paranormal, all the teams should be working towards the single goal of proving life after death. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, finally. And, yeah. No, yeah. I don't do. I'm one of these guys. I'm like your typical Scottish fire, yeah. fiery, yeah. hairy arsed boy, I'll call it because my language. <laughs> um, to me, I mean, there, there is what I could see in. From my time in the paranormal, there was a few names last night that came up. I wasn't surprised to see. Okay. I'm not going to, that's my personal view. That's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Because I've actually, I mean, I'm, I'm quite one of these guys. I'm quite silent. Um, I don't comment overly much about stuff. Mm -hmm. I did watch the full video last night. And I do, I've never heard of the guy, John Sixth Sense. I've, I've, I can personally, I've never heard of him. Okay. Um, paranormal Uncovered, I have heard of. I, I, I think they're all right. Um, yeah. Lee and Lindsay, I'm, I know because I, I watch their live feeds. Um, yeah. But to me, I just feel as if there's an awful lot of drama in the paranormal that's not needed. Um, yeah. Personally, I think what everybody should do here is draw a line under it, let it yeah. go, and then just work towards the goal. I mean, we've had, everybody's had a shit year. Everybody's had a yeah. tough year. And me, personally, I think a line should just be drawn under this. Mm -hmm. And everybody should go back to working towards the goal of Paranormal union, yeah, paranormal yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But, no, no, I, you, you, you spoke a lot of sense there. <laughs> yeah, honest, honest but way. do you feel, though, that there really should be some kind of ethics and integrity yeah. in the field that we all need to follow? We we can't just go around doing what the hell we want to do. We've got these, you call yourself small fry. I, I wouldn't call you that. I'd call you someone yeah. who's experienced. Um, and so what? What did you say? 146 followers? Mate, I've, I've got like got, 140 followers. I've I, got I, probably seven on my paranormal group. Yeah. But you know what? I don't care because I don't I don't paranormal and, investigate and, and for that. And not be funny. You'll probably get a few more tonight. Hey, look, <laughs> listen. Honest, no, listen, right? I'm going to pause my page a wee bit. It's Ayrshire, 
Paranormal Ayrshire and Urbex. I think so. Don't you think but there should be some ethics, though, some integrity in the paranormal field? We can't just go around doing what the hell we want to do and there'd be no consequences for it. I'm going to probably paint a wee target on my, myself here from my next... I was part of a, a team um, and there was a, a girl in the team as well that I became quite friendly with. Uh, no. I'm not going to name names. I'm not, no, I don't. I'm not. No. But I worked under this guy and he was a bit of a tyrant. Um, mm. He wasn't nice and he was kicking this girl out of the team for apparent comments she made when she didn't make the comment because I was there. I was with yeah. her all night because me being an experienced investigator, I was asked to come back to his team. Yeah. I was helping... No, I'm not going to use the word train, but I, I was helping kind of guide yeah. the, the yeah. new. The, 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 she was like an inured person to the paranormal, so I was there to guide her. But she didn't make these comments, and they wanted to kick her out. Now this girl suffers. I mean, this is the thing. I, I've I suffered. I will put my hands up. I've had trouble with mental health for years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This person suffered mental health and anxiety issues, and I mm -hmm. saw how kicking her out the team affected her. So I just said, "Listen, if you're going to do this, I don't want to be part of this. I'm leaving." And mm. when I left, I became a target as well. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I've been on, this is the thing, the, the trolling and the bullying. I'm the, I'm the kind of guy that I'll speak out. Like, yeah. I'll challenge somebody. Like, if yeah. you're going to say think, something bad about me, I'm going hard... to challenge. Yeah, but, I think the yeah. hard part for us at Dead Ends is we're not trolling. We're not trying to troll anybody. Oh. We're not trying to abuse anybody. We are sticking up for the standards in the paranormal field. And again, I have to reiterate, anything we put out there is all factual information. Yeah. We're not tit for tatting anybody. No. If you're going, if I'm going to misbehave, I damn well expect someone to put something up on it and tell me that I've been a complete and utter prat. I've got no problem with that. And I'll hold my hands up. But I think yesterday was, for me, I was really disappointed. And I, and I just thought, here we go. Again, 17 years I've been doing this. Here we go again, 17 years down the line, and we have all still learned nothing about working together. Mm -hmm. 17 years, Mike, uh, sorry, Stephen, I've been saying para unity this, para unity that. I don't think there's such a thing. I think there's pocket para unity. I think ethics yeah. and integrity in, in some areas, not all the time, I'm not saying groups do it all the mm -hmm. time, that they tow the line most of the time. They just stop sometimes. I think it's all going out the window. And I want to protect our field and I want to protect the newbies coming in. I don't want the newbies to think it's okay to yeah. go smash the window or it's uh, it's okay to, to do this when it's not okay to do that. Um, that's when it comes to abandoned places and stuff. That's, uh, uh, yeah, but that's I'm different. Up, I'm up in Scotland, so we don't... Yeah. The minute we get near some place, it's usually the CCTV and you're, you're, you're hunted yeah. straight away. Yeah, uh, a I lot know. of the stuff I've done is off what paid locations. Um, it's... Of course. Of course. Look, yeah. trespass, all of that. We've run a show on yeah. that. We all yeah. have our own opinion. Do we hate people that do it? No. Yeah. We're not saying we hate people that do it. It's just, I just say, don't do it. But I if you're going to do it, do it. I think I, that yeah. the point that what we are trying to do, that, yeah, we'll do a show on that. But once that show is done and dusted, That's we're on first. something else. Yeah. We're not sticking around saying that, you know, going around it's not be it's not right or whatever. It's 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 done. We've addressed the issue, addressed especially it. if we're asked about it, and then we move yeah. on. Yeah. You know I just I think even when it comes to we in particular. No, I like yeah. we I've got a lot of time for the guy. Yeah. Um yeah. I respect him. I know a lot of people don't. You see the comments and stuff that come yeah. up. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. I'm working through everything here from an unbiased opinion. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, do, do you know what? Stephen, even even though I'm friends with somebody, you don't have to. You don't have to agree with everything somebody does. You're friends with. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've watched for years. I've watched we get. Hey. It, it, it gets hey quite guys. a lot of flack. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, hey sure. Somebody has just asked if they can come on, Wayne. Uh, no, we uh, are going to shut we, it down after Jen. It, uh, it gets yeah. a bit too long and people get bored, I'm afraid. So, uh, sorry, I'm mate. Bored. Maybe I, next time. I'll, um, I should listen to, to, I make should a point, listen to I'll jump off just now, but I would like to say thank you for letting me put my point across. No, no, no. Uh, there, is there is something I would like to, to say to you, actually, funny enough, and it's, it's concerningly. 
why I'm angry is because I knew Lee a long time ago. He doesn't realize it. And I remember him and what he used to be and what he stood up for. Yeah. And for me, that anger, well, it's not anger. It's like, where are you, Lee? Where's the Lee that was there that what we were doing now when he was challenging people? That Lee's not yeah. there no more. That's what annoys me. So I'm going to say, he's done nothing personally to me, but my anger is there about that as well because I know what he could have been capable of. Yeah, but people change, don't they? We all I change. We all go down change. different paths. So hey ho, swings and roundabouts. Anyway, Stephen, yeah. thanks so much, mate. Oh, you are welcome you. on thanks here thanks all again. the time. You're welcome. Yeah, feel Take free. care, sweetie. Thanks, bye. Bye, Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, he was nice. Right, hey, Jen. Nice yeah. yeah, we've got Jen next. Listen, guys, all of you that want to come on, I am so sorry, but yeah. uh, we've done this before where we've gone on for an hour and a half. You guys do get it bored, trust It me. doesn't work. And we all don't right. want to go to two and a half hours, unfortunately. No, not tonight. <laughs> not tonight no. Anyway, right, Jen, are you ready, my love? Three, two, one. Hi, Jen. So sorry to keep Thank you. you. Yeah. I'm having a Guinness. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, <laughs> oh happy yes. St. Patrick's happy St. Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> chin, chin. We're having a Guinness here. Lovely. Hey, guys, how are you keeping today? We're all Fine, right, thank, thank you. you. Good. Colin, do you remember me? Yes, I do. I've just realised who it is. Hello, oh, my darling. How are you? These are, these, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had brilliant time in Ireland. Absolutely. We did. Didn't we? It was absolutely time. brilliant. Up in Shane yeah. was amazing. Yes. Yeah. And I, got in, I got into Westeros. I got into Westeros. Did, oh, remember, we did that. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was so yeah. good. That was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> you have to come back over. Um, guys, yeah. amazing show. I love it. Thank this is you. the positive side. This is the positive side of paranormal. Thank and you. Research and research and and podcast. This is what it's all about. This is para unity. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I Thank have you. a few things to say. Yes. Yeah, no, carry on. And I will keep it PG. Yeah. Um, I will say, uh, and I'm not going to mention names. I'm not yeah. going to do that. Some no. certain person had left a certain group and had started up by themselves. Yeah. Myself and my co-host said, let's take this person on and let her have a say. Our show, um, Shadow Whispers in the Night, was uh, we got a, a message sent to us and it was directed to me, even though my co-host, I'm going to say Gary Rundle Water, sorry, Gary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, he, you know, even though he had his, you know, say to this person to say, you know, leave us alone, no worries, enjoy the show tonight. We were threatened to say, if you continue on with this person and you take this person onto your show, we're going to send Jenny solicitors letters and so on and so on. I'm in this field a long time. You don't play with that. Yeah. Don't yeah. do it. I am too tired. I am too old. I'm doing it way too long. Yeah. I am dumbfounded as to where the research of paranormal has gone. Mm -hmm. This is not research. This is cauldrons, witches in a cauldron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have one school body, two school bodies, and all, the, all of these school bodies join up together and they're a big group of school bodies and they feel better. I did watch a little bit of the live last night and for them not to allow other people to have to say, they were getting hearts and loves and, oh, ban these trolls, all oh, these bad people. These bad people are not sheep. We're speaking the truth. Yeah. I just think it's one big crock of bull crap. It yeah. is disgusting. And I will say, my daughter has 17 and she's special needs. And I am going to say, John, when you call someone a retard, oh, I didn't mean to say it. It was in your mind. And it came out yeah. of your mouth and you slipped up. So you did say it, darling. You did say it. And I mailed and I commented saying, I do not appreciate that. And I was blocked immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yes, I will call you out on that, John. If it was in your mind, it came out of your mouth. You said it. You need to own up on it. And a million apologies is not going to make my daughter happy. Bullcrap. I've never seen one audio from them, no EVPs, no video footage, no photographs, nothing. I do research. I would sit on my computer for about two, three weeks doing one night investigation where I have about eight recorders and it would be like five hours or six hours yeah. on each recorder. You know yourself, Carla. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I see none of it. I see none of it. So it's kind of like I turn off EastEnders and I put the live on just to see what shite they come up with and i'm saying shite 
just to see what shite they come up with. And Kelly, when you said about cat litters, and I've got seven cats, so I know a lot of shit in one tree. <laughs> I know a lot of shit in one tree. So, yeah, I laughed when you said that. Um, I wrote a few things down here because I was so bloody annoyed. Um, I think I said everything. I literally kind of remembered everything that I've written down on my oh, page. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I think we have to also remember though that Paranormal Uncovered, John Six Sense, and Gob are entertainment what a great work, Gob. in the paranormal, aren't they? So you won't really you get what? the you research. You went through a long lockdown, and I mean, when Easter and us was off air for a while because of the quarantine and so on, we had this shower. Yeah. And they can come for me if they want to because I've already you know threatened with the solicitors letters and so on. I am here. If you just PM me, I'll give you my address and I'll see you in Ireland. No problem. But um, I just think this is an amazing show and I love every single topic that you have said. Lovely. Um, and you know what, Colin and Kelly, when you put up about uh, going into abandoned locations and I was taking pictures of an abandoned house and I'm like, oh my God, I want to get into this place. <laughs> it made me think twice and I didn't. Oh, yeah. that's, that's brilliant. That's, oh, that's, bless that's, you. That's, well, remember, we're not telling you not to. No, we're just no saying me, that's our me opinion. Think, it made me think, and, and like, I wouldn't, and I was thinking, mm -hmm, when I won't, I will, I won't. And I was thinking, I want to, but I have to think rationally at the same time as well. And do you know what you should do to. then? You know what you should do? You should what? find out. Who owns it? Get in touch taken, with them. I have, I have yeah. taken photographs of the phone numbers that's up and around the building. There you so go. I'm going to bring one of them to see um, who I can call to see that's, what I can do. That's you know all, what? That's all, that's all we're saying. That's all we've yeah. been saying is, you know, they are abandoned buildings. Everybody has been yes, in yes. one or two in their life. What yeah. we're just saying is if you're going to go in and do an investigation and mm. a little bit of research just to Absolutely. find out if the owner is going to object. You know, yeah, absolutely. And especially yeah, if you're sure. going to put it as a live, get stars from it or get money from it. Well, maybe that owner might appreciate a couple of quid in their pocket. Yeah. Oh, we're exactly. You've got and to protect the I mean, locations. You absolutely. And if they wanted us to pay a fee, we will happily pay a fee. We're fully insured. We, you yeah. know, we are, yes, yes, we are insured. <laughs> we're insured. Yeah. We're that ends is <laughs> Like well, you don't do investigations, Kelly. So <laughs> not yet. I know, no. Um, I think um Kelly, you we have you on with us. Soon. Oh yes, April. I can't wait. Yes. And Maybe Colin, you should have me and on, Colin. Right? Yes, I that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Both of us come on to our show and I'm gonna send you a date for April. <gasps> yes, we're date. there. Both of you come yeah. on with us, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be yeah. more than happy to come on, yeah. That would be brilliant. That would be so brilliant. Colin, we work together and, and we have many stories. We, like we can catch up then as well. We can. We have many stories. Yeah. So yeah, just definitely. just for the um just for the people in the comment um boxes, Jen, what, what's your show called again? Shadow Whispers in the Night. Shadow Whispers in the Night, and you can find Jen on Facebook. It's really good. You should give it a listen. Uh, a few of my friends are going on soon, so I shall be watching yes. with data. We Kat. have, we have, we have this week. We have Kath on this week with us. I know. Oh. Kath That'll Rooney be... rock. I know, I know. I'm coming to read out. My dog is All in right. my bed snoring. Ah, well, listen, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for having me on, guys. Thank you so much. Colin, was great to see you. Thank you so much for having me on. Yeah. And we'll no. definitely talk soon to you guys. Yeah. All right, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, hey, guys, so, we've just yeah. been asked to stay on till half past because people are loving the show. Uh, I know, but then we'll have to have more people on and uh, I wish we could. Do you know what, guys? We would really love to. But um, you know what? We will just keep going round in circles, I assure you. Honest to God, it will just continuously go round in circles. Um, you have all been mind-blowingly bloody amazing tonight. I have, actually. Um, I said I wouldn't, but uh, Shell and Liz have done an amazing job in the chat yeah. room. As yeah. always, I tell you what, we we literally couldn't do it without our amazing mods. Um, so a massive thank you. Uh, do not smash the love button. That's not what we want you guys to do. <laughs> but yeah. hey, I want you. I want love. 
I want there love. Well, she wants some love. So if you want to yeah. send her some hearts, crack on. Yeah. But listen, guys in the chat room, you guys have been so bloody amazing. You really yeah. have. We asked you to be respectful, to be factual, and not bite at people. And do you know what? You guys have been great. Absolutely amazing. Thanks. I've got, Thank to, be, you. I've got, I've got to be honest. I haven't looked at the chat tonight. And you can have see you that. I was a little bit in the beginning like, mm, but that. So I'm a bloke at the end of the day and a mad Welshman. So at the end of the day, I don't care. But I have to be honest, as Kelly has said, you know, dead enders. And even if we've had followers uh, of other groups come on, you know, yeah. you're more than welcome to come on. You, we are welcoming. We're yeah. not gonna, we're not gonna put down just because you're down there. But what we do ask is facts and facts only. And yeah. to be quite honest, you know, even those who have called us trolls and a lot of other things they're yeah. still welcome to come on oh, of course of course absolutely I, I i don't mind i'm not a troll though uh last comment no. john ingram this has been another brilliant show very well done guys off to find the cat litter tray now see it's true <laughs> we just go yeah. back to what we feel comfortable with and Haley young i've got to read it welcome Haley. thank you for tonight the first time really watching and to be fair breath of fresh air well done mods too yeah oh, big up you, our you, mods you, and yeah. you know what if we haven't um hit the nail on the head for you this evening and we, yeah. you know you haven't agreed with us that's absolutely fine as well um we, we're yeah. not all going to agree um you guys um you're free to support whoever you want do whatever yeah. you want be whoever you want um, but remember we all end up in a litter tray sooner or later right or, or down a dead end kelly your dead ends yeah i've got litter trays you've got dead yeah, ends. ends all right anyway guys we are gonna go because obviously we could waffle and we don't want to waffle it's just yeah. gonna be yeah really bad anyway oh, we kelly, love you. sorry sorry yeah. just before listen up for wednesday 8 p.m <gasps> flashcast wednesday we're all uh, sorry, Sunday, where all will be revealed. Yes, flashcast, okay. guys, Sunday. All will be. And a lot, some things will be explained. It, it will shock. I think you're, you're, some of you will have a bit of a shock. All yeah. right, okay. Love to you all. Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye.